Welcome back to The Average Drinker. I'm Dara, I'm your average drinker, and I have the most random review for you on a random day. Holy freaking moly, I'm jazzed for this. I'm like, whoa, yeah. I can just smell the sandwich wafting up in my face and the curly fries and the Arby's smoked bourbon. I'm, I feel like I was lucky, like very lucky. Whenever I saw it on the site, I like bought it as fast as I could and it sold out within like no seconds. Like literally it sold out so fast. So I got one and I just got it. Haven't even cracked it open. This is gonna be the most off the cuff, ridiculous, silly review you ever saw. And of course, I'm gonna, I'm gonna dive into this beef and cheddar and these curly fries from Arby's while I do this review. But first of all, I should probably tell you about this. So this is the Arby's smoked bourbon. Yes, it is a bourbon. It comes in at 90 proof. It says bourbon whiskey finished with American oak staves that have been smoked with hickory, mesquite, and pecan or pecan smoke. It says it's smoked like Arby's meats. And even better, well, I don't know what was better. I was going into something cool and then I was gonna be like, even better? I don't know what that means. This one, it says produced, finished and bottled by Brain Brew Custom Whiskey in Newtown, Ohio. Our distillery is located just east of the Cincinnati and seven miles north of Kentucky. So this is Ohio bourbon. Now, I don't know what this means or what this is gonna taste like or anything about it, but it's Arby's bourbon. I mean, come on. They got the meats and now they got the bourbon too? Hell yeah, I'm going in. I'm going in. I'm going, hey, the cool thing about this is they at least have this like stringy thingy. This stringy thingy. Stringy thingy that you can just pull off. Oh yeah, we're just gonna pull it off. It's got the wax on it, but at least you can. I'm gonna get it, I'm almost there. Oh yeah, boom, I got it. Whoa, wow, that actually just stuck on there, okay. Yep, you know what? It's just actually still on there, so it's gonna stay on there. And it even has a little stoke, smoked stave. Stoked stave? Smoked stave, okay, whatever. I got that off of there, and thank God I did, because I did not know how that was gonna go. Now, let's pour it in. That's a pretty healthy pour, I would say. As always, thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you so much for watching The Average Drinker. Now, cheers to you. Woo! The color? Doesn't look that bad. It actually looks fairly dark, not super light. If you guys can see that, I don't think you can. Whoa. Whoa. That is like, whoa. <laughs> That's interesting. It smells, it's weird. Okay, this is really strange, but like right off the bat, I thought it smelled like tequila for a second. Like smoked tequila, not smoked, like not mezcal either. It smelled. Yeah, that is weird. It smells like kind of like mesquite barbecue. Yeah, it does smell like mesquite barbecue. It has this real sour note going for it. Like it's kind of like, whoa, right in your face. And it's not like, I was like hoping it smelled like really smoky, meaty. It kind of just smells like mesquite tequila. It does not smell like bourbon to me. Not, not in any sense of the imagination. It smells like a little bit of like liquid smoke with tequila. That is weird as hell on the nose. Right off the bat, whoa. All right. You know what, it's kind of getting a little bit better. Or it's the sandwich that I'm smelling. That is weird as hell. Huh. That note, it literally smells like liquid smoke and tequila. Strange. Okay, anyhow, let's dive into this. It's super sweet. Really sweet. Also like super finished. It tastes like, you literally put, that is weird, I got to, I didn't spit it out, so that's a good sign, right? I think. It's super sweet up front, like a really young whiskey, but it doesn't smell grainy or taste grainy. It's that finish that goes into it. Maybe it'll taste better when I take a big bite of this thing. 
There we are, I got cheese everywhere. Mmm. <laughs> I can't tell you the last time that I had a beef and cheddar, but that's a damn good. Oh yeah. There, that's where it's at. Mmm. Okay. Yep. The only way it tastes good is if you taste it with your sandwich. It actually tastes tastes good. It kind of tastes like the weird taste of like Arby sauce, which I'm, I don't have any. But like, that tried to be a bourbon, but didn't really make it there. So it's like, kind of like the sauce, but a little bit sweet, but a little bit of like ethanol. It tastes way better with the sandwich. That's really good. Mmm. 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 And the curly fries too. Oh yeah. Okay, so... Do I recommend this whiskey? I don't think I can do that in a safe mind. Like, I don't think I could do that and be a good person. I cannot recommend this whiskey, but I can recommend the sandwich. It's actually really delicious. Now the whiskey, I wasn't expecting much. I really wasn't. I was like, Arby's bourbon, it's a gimmick. I wanna buy it. I wanna do it because it's Arby's smoked bourbon and I wanna have it and I gotta have it because it would be so cool to have that bottle. Now, I have the bottle. And this kind of ranks up there or down there, down there. This ranks down there with like Dickel Tabasco for me. Yep, it definitely ranks down there with Dickel Tabasco. But when you drink it with your sandwich, it freaking tastes good. It actually tastes kind of good. It's kind of satisfying. It's like almost like you got a little smoked meats inside your sandwich, which I thought these were already smoked. Anyhow, it doesn't matter. This one, I'd give about 1.5 corks out of five. I wasn't expecting much and I don't care. I'm not upset because it's worth the experience of trying it for me. For me, I got to try it. I don't think anybody else wants to try it. I did it for you, so you don't have to. Anyhow, I'm gonna get back to eating my sandwich and you guys get back to enjoying your day. As always, I'm Dara, I'm your average drinker. Thanks so much for watching this random review brought to you by Arby's. We have the meats.